In today's reading from David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, we are reading from Book 1, Laying the Foundation. This is Chapter 2, Section 2. Can enlightenment be received by hands-on transference? Hi, David. I had a very interesting chat with my friend today about Diksha, hands-on transference. I feel to ask you to give me your views on Diksha and this whole expanding movement. I have deep trust in you and value your clarity. Is this phenomenon serious in your eyes? And do you think it can cause an actual permanent change and lead to permanent enlightenment. Beloved one, thanks for writing. There are many concepts that are stepping stones toward enlightenment. Yet, all of them must evaporate before the mind is emptied of false belief. There is no body or action or time-space event that can save the mind or set it free. For there is nothing apart from mind. Your desire and willingness will call forth witnesses to awakening. And there is nothing in form that can speed up awakening. For form but witnesses to the desire within. People and actions are symbols, and mastery of mind can be reflected with symbols. Yet, there is no shortcut or substitute for the requirement of emptying the mind of every thought and belief. A course in miracles is a very direct path when the desire for awakening is strong and all books and teachers and events can but reflect the desire of the heart. Enlightenment is never a matter of time, of study or proximity transference with a guru or a special energy transmission, for these are but effects of belief. All beliefs must be exposed and released to make way for complete forgiveness, which is an experience that transcends specifics in its wholeness. There is no causation in form, and this includes the concept of diksha. The mind must be emptied of all specific concepts, even those about energy, in order to be still and at rest forever.